Hello, um, everyone. Welcome to our session. Um, this is the Arctic North Conference 2021, and our session is Davan Wikipedia Bachinoa. Um, my name is Sadek Shahadu from Accra, Ghana. I'm a regional ambassador for indigenous communities at art and feminism. And my co-presenter um, is Mohamed Sadat Abdullahi. He's a communications manager for Wikidata and Wikibase at Wikimedia Germany. So next slide. In this okay. session, we'll be talking about a project we started a um, few months ago. Um, it's called Bachinima. Bachinima in Dabane means um, West. So Dabane Wikipedia, Bachinima means Dabane Wikipedia West. Yeah, so I would like to talk about our journey uh, as a community and how we've been um, able to um, translate Dabane Wikipedia um, messages on media wiki so um, i would like to start from where we started um, i think we started in 2017 when two of us traveled all the way to um, university of education school of languages department to um, discuss about how we can support um, the Daban wikipedia community so that was how we started since then we've been working with the mobilizing communities like embarking on several projects to support the community and also um, improve the content on the um, Dagbani Wikipedia incubator. Uh, as we all know, there are many challenges when you are doing um, everything you do, there are many challenges. So some of the challenges we faced were um, community, we were looking for people who um, have the strong capacity to support especially students or um, teachers who learn or teach Dagbani language. So um, one of the challenges, like I said, is um, community. And some of the challenges we also faced were um, like skills, people lack basic digital skills, even though they want to contribute to Wikipedia or the Dagban Wikipedia, but they don't have the basic um, skills like computer or ICT skills to participate fully. So that was one of the challenges we had. And all these that we have done, we have achieved so many successes. And our uh, achievements include um, having a fully fledged um, user group now. We started just some few um, years back, and now we are uh, an affiliate of the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, the, uh, one of our achieve achievements were also, some of the achievements were also um, translating all the most commonly used messages on Media Wiki. And as we are talking about, uh, Bachinema is one of the successful projects that we've had recently. We recorded over 4,000 Dagbani words, unique Dagbani words onto Wikimedia um, Commons, which we'll be talking more about in this um, session. Um, we've also contributed more content to the incubator. We have over 400 plus um, articles from various um, contests and editor tones. Um, we've also contributed massively to the Wikimedia Commons, like um, some of the articles that needs um, pictures, we've done series of photo works like Wiki Loves um, Ed, Wiki Loves Folklore, and these are some of the images we've used for some of the articles we had, we have on the incubator. So now in the future, um, as at this time of the presentation, um, I am very happy to share that we are now um, just in the process of having a fully fledged uh, Wikipedia, we are uh, our application to um, have our own subdomain has been approved, and we are currently at the final stage of having a full Wikipedia for the Dabani language. So, in future, we hope to see more content, we hope to see a more, a more um, nice uh, interface, we hope to have a larger community across the country. So, I would like to invite my colleague, Mama Sab <clears throat> Okay, thank you so much, Sadiq. Can we get the next slide going? All right, so um, over the years, we've been you know, thinking about ways by which to document linguistic knowledge in the Dagbani language. Um, 
As Wikimedia is one way that we can leverage our skills to put small language disadvantage value on the map is to is to use the existing platforms we're already familiar with. That is using the Wikimedia projects as a catapult to sort of uplift the brand new content and make our language more visible on the internet. Um, so just you know briefly about the Dagbani language. As of 2013, there were more than 3 million speakers. Um, I mean, people who said that they were native speakers of Dagbani. We're in 2021 now. So I guess that number should have increased by far since that census was taken. But anyway, the language is called Dagbani by the natives. And we refer to ourselves as Dagbamba. Dagbanli is spoken mostly in the northern half of Ghana. Um, it is classified as an Uti Volta language and specifically closely related to 15 other languages that find themselves in the western parts of the Uti and Volta rivers. So that means that the, all of these 16 languages you know, come from the same language family. The same, the same uh, language tree, basically. In fact, Dagbanli is mutually intelligible with many of its sister languages, and it has three distinct dialects of its own. There's Temusli, there's Nayahale, and there's um, there's Nanunli. So you know, like most other languages, Dagban is a complicated language. Um, as a stance, we already have a significant amount of material out there that has transcriptions of words that are pronounced in that language. But it's all good, all fine. But come to think of it, you know, these existing contents are text based, which means that um, different people read, you know, characters differently, obviously. And that means that probably in a in a few generations to come, people might begin to even argue about the Otoipi of, you know, Dagbani as a language. One of the steps we took to ensuring that words in Dagbani are preserved in the way that native speakers would pronounce them uh, was to start this project called Bachinama, which means words in Dagbani, whereby, um, we embark on this adventure to, to record all of the words in Dagbani and save them on Wikimedia Commons under a free license so people can access them and then use them. Um, I would say that the idea for this project started in, uh, you know, on one of the Dagbani language. Um, on one of the chats in our community pages, people were asking questions like, how many words make up the language? You know, which seems like a seemingly easy question to ask, but one nonetheless almost impossible to determine. Yeah, just splitting up and quantifying the count of the language's lexicon gets really complicated when we start to dig into problems like um, what exactly counts as a word. Um, are plurals of a word the same as a word? Are derived words different from the total of its units? For example, kambongwa. So kambongwa, are there two words? Is it one word? Is it two words connected with an apostrophe? Um, are borrowed words part of a language? How long should a word should a, should 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 uh, people be using a word? Should people be using a broad word until it becomes part of their language? So you know these are these were some of the interesting questions that people were asking. And so creating a repository of 
audio recordings of all of the words in that violin made so much sense. Um, I know that similar initiatives have been carried out in the past of larger Wikimedia projects, but this is the first time that a small language community, you know, was gearing up to systematically leverage Wikimedia as a language preservation platform to document all of the spoken, all of the spoken words in the language. Hence, we consider this project as an experiment that, would, that should actually go on to inspire other smaller languages, smaller language communities in Africa, you know, that are mostly still struggling to become visible on the various digital communication platforms on the internet in general. So with this, with this, um, with this goal in mind, the first hurdle was, okay, how do we get a list of all of the words in the band? I mean, because we want to record them. So how do we get the list? So first of all, um, there's not an existing corpora sitting down somewhere that we can easily download and extract all the words from. No, that didn't exist. We had to hunt down these words for ourselves. And so we decided to build our own little corpora of words to start with. We, we crawled the internet to find all texts that had Dibani language words. Uh, many documents were in PDFs, you know, and while some of them were very useful, the fact that the fact that a great number of them were, you know, came as image printed PDFs made it a little lot harder. We used Talula and some other tools to extract text as much as we could. Particularly useful, and I think I should I should point this out in appreciation of two key individuals. Particularly useful works we found were the dictionaries of Roger Blanch and Tony Naden. Uh, so, you know, wherever they are, thanks so much for the work that they did several years, several years ago. It was very useful for this project of ours. So after we extracted tens of thousands of words, we could now comfortably import them into spreadsheets. And from there, we removed all of the duplicates, corrected the spellings that they didn't render properly. As you may know, so Dibani has um, special characters that isn't handled too well, in, too well on some browsers, on some web pages. Um, even on the Google spreadsheet, we, we had to tweak it a little bit to um, to get it to work for some of the characters. In addition to the apostrophe, we have six unique um, characters, uh, six unique lane characters. And then we have six other digraphs. The digraphs usually are the problem, just, just these six unique Latin characters that, that were um, terribly difficult to deal with, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we once we crossed that path, from there we we had a language expert help us to verify and weed out those words that were clearly out of school. So uh, yeah, many thanks to our in-house grammarian, Karumba Alasan. Thank you, the <laughs> Um So we were now down to a little over four thousand words. From there, we started to, to do the recording. So we split up, we, we, we split ourselves up into groups, into teams and groups. So it's, you know, team leads who coordinated the various aspects of the recordings. Now we had many options when it came to choosing a recording tool. There's Lingua Limbre, there's you know, so many applications just sitting on your on your machine that you can use to record a word, to record sound. Um, so, you know, choosing a tool that worked for us was important. 
And depending on what seemed the most convenient, we chose an approach that, that made it easier for, you know, for people who had mobile phones to participate in their recording activity. Um, this shouldn't surprise a lot of people, but you know, in this part of the world, I mean, in Ghana, um, access to access to hardware is still a problem for many people. So just having a tool that made it easy for people to be able to participate, just using a simple Android phone, for example, was very, very, um, very, very uh, was a really good, you know, decision. Um, yeah, basically that was what we did. And one fun fact, the shortest and the longest words in Bagbani turned out to be ah, which was recorded by, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his username or her username, <laughs> but it's like uh, Hassel Batek, Hassel Ibech, whatever. <laughs> and the longest word was Fagial Epeshe Fong which is a kind of a plant, I think. And it was recorded by um, Alaji Darajat, Musa Alaji Darajat. So yeah, if that, if that information is useful to anyone at all. <laughs> um, next slide. So the, the applications of this project are vast. Um, Support for Dalbani Wiktionary is one of them. Those words can be added to Wikipedia articles as well. And the words can be used to describe items on Wikidata. And most importantly for me, the words can provide support for Wikidata's lexicographical data and abstract Wikipedia as a whole, which is really interesting. Outside of Wikimedia projects, we expect application developers to reuse the content in building their tools. Um, for example, learning material, um, you know, um, natural language processing applications, translation tools, and all of those things. Um, we envision also that evolutionary linguists or pragmatics, you know, will find it a good recourse, perhaps several years down the line, when they are trying to figure out how the language has changed and evolved. Um, I'm pretty sure that the Dibani accent that Nalu from 15, so like 450 years ago. It's totally different from the accent that Sadiq and I speak today. How did that sound? We can never tell because we have no tangible records of how you know he sounded. So yeah, the applications of these recordings are, are vast and endless. And um, um, yeah, I hope they are useful to a lot of people. Um, I would hand over to Sadiq now to talk a little bit about um, the application itself that we used. Um, yeah. So over to you, Sadiq. Um, so I'm going to do a demonstration in advance. 
So first of all, we go to the um, Google Play Store. This app is not on iOS, it's only on Android. You go to the um, Play, uh, Play Store and um, search for Spell for Wiki, then download, install it. Once you are done with the installation, interface for you. Uh, it looks really um, simple and straightforward. Now, when you install it, you first of all need to select your language. By default, it comes with a different language. Uh, as you can see at the top right corner, it's um, in the C language, BWA and C. So you need to change the language by clicking that uh, uh, icon and then type the AG to select the language. Once you are done with that, you move to the next step. So this is how you search. There's Gabani added to the app. So you can see so many other languages that are added to the application. If your language is there, you can just search it in the search bar by typing the short um, code for that language. So Gabani is DAG, then we'll take you to this page. Once I select Gabani, I move to the next step where I can record the word. First of all, you need to make sure the word is valid like um, Masley said. Um, make sure the language is a valid word in your every word is a valid word in your language. So I'm going to um, record this word. So so Jane, and this is actually a, a right word, a valid word for the band. To do that, you just um, hold down the record button for just some few seconds. So make sure you type the word if. The, the need to add a special character, make sure your keyboard supports that um, special character. So we do the Latin characters, and then I put yeah, we, this particular word doesn't have that word, so just go ahead like this. So you hold down the record, and then it will pop up like this, and then the word will be recorded. Once the word is recorded, you check the file to see whether the file is available. So if, if the word is recorded, you see that um, it will begin with the language code, which is DAG, and then the word .ogg, as we all know for Wikimedia Commons files. So this is where you type, you can type this red button to, uh, to record the same word if the first one was not correctly recorded, or you tap the play button to um, hear the spelling or the word that you are recording. So here, at this point, you can decide to do multiple recordings provided, um, like if, especially when the word is not uh, well recorded, and you should make sure there's no noise at the background. So just make sure the, 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 the place is very quiet. And here I can test to see how the word is sound like or discard this and then upload a new version. Once I'm satisfied with the final word or recording, I click on, um, I declare that this file is my word and anyone can use it under the Creative Commons license zero. Once I check my license, I click on upload and the word is recorded. So this is how, it's a, this is a simple way to record words from spell to Media Commons. And, and this were so, the words that we recorded for the particular project. Okay, Matthew, over to you. Yeah, so I was just wondering uh, that so once you are done recording, you can find all of the words in the, in the. So all of the words are generally recorded in a particular particular way that is assigned by the so you can find all words recorded for a particular language in one category. So you don't have to, uh, you know, you can easily find all of them. Yeah. And um, Next slide. Okay. Yeah. So I think we are done with the presentation. Uh, 
last year of your final words. Yeah, so basically, um, I think this is just the beginning of an ambitious project that we started. And uh, we actually want to go beyond this to record full sentences for all of the words that we already have on this media comment. Uh, after we finished recording the, the words, we got contacted by uh, you know people, people who are working in the natural language processing uh, teams who you know are looking for resource like this. They are looking for words, they are looking for text, they are looking for you know speech that is going to train their algorithms really to recognize the language and do so many other you know fancy stuff. So the next major step that we want to take is to record words, I mean full sentences, including all of these four thousand plus words. Then our plans are quite ambitious. Even after recording all of those words and sentences, we probably do something that would, would uh, spell the way it is, most likely. Uh, I mean, there are so many things, so many words that we could record and see on this video conference. So look out for more interesting projects to come out of this. Yeah, so as um, Sadat rightly mentioned, um, we were contacted by natural language team, they wanted to design a text recognition and application for the Daban language. And uh, this uh, particular project was very useful. Uh, we shared the link with them and they were really excited about it. And they believe that they can use those uh, words or recordings to design a text recognition application for the Daban language. And we are also uh, going to work on other projects like Sadat said, which would allow us to be able to record more phrases or sentences in order to help our future projects. So if you have any question about this project or you want to learn more about what we do, you can reach out to us via the planet of students at gmail.com or contact any of us. so much for taking your time to participate in this session. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Bye.